Welcome back to Fitness Food Recipes. In this video we'll delve into a topic that is often shrouded in mystery and stigma, erectile dysfunction or ED. This condition simply put, is the inability to achieve or maintain an erection consistently. It's a reality for an estimated 30 million Americans, showing us that it's more common than we might think. It's important to understand that erectile dysfunction isn't just an old man's issue. It can impact individuals at any age from young adults to seniors. But don't be disheartened, knowledge is power and understanding the causes can be the first step towards prevention and treatment. In this video we will explore 7 common causes of ED and how you can prevent them, so stay tuned. Before we go any further please like this video and subscribe to our channel. First on our list is endocrine diseases with a primary focus on diabetes. Now you might be wondering what does an endocrine disease like diabetes have to do with erectile dysfunction? Well, the connection lies in the intricate dance of hormones and bodily functions, all governed by the endocrine system. Diabetes in particular affects the body's ability to produce insulin, a hormone that regulates the level of glucose or sugar in your bloodstream. When insulin production is thrown off balance, high blood sugar levels can lead to a cascade of issues, including nerve damage and impaired blood flow. You see, achieving and maintaining an erection is a complex process that involves nerve signals and ample blood flow. Nerve damage, known in the medical world as neuropathy, can interrupt these crucial signals, making it difficult to achieve an erection. But it's not just about the nerves. Blood flow plays a starring role too. An erection is essentially a blood flow event, requiring a surge of blood to the penis. But high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels, impairing blood flow and making it harder to get or keep that necessary surge. These facts are backed by numerous medical sources including Healthline and several reputable medical journals. The American Diabetes Association for instance reports that men with diabetes are two to three times more likely to have erectile dysfunction than men without diabetes. But here's the silver lining. Managing diabetes effectively can significantly reduce the risk of ED. This includes maintaining a balanced diet, regular exercise, and following your doctor's advice on medication and blood sugar monitoring. Remember, while diabetes and ED can be challenging to deal with, they're not insurmountable. With the right knowledge and proactive management, it's entirely possible to lead a healthy, fulfilling life. The brain plays a pivotal role in triggering the series of physical events that cause an erection. However, certain neurological conditions can interfere with this intricate process. Let's delve a little deeper into this. Parkinson's disease, characterized by nerve cell damage in the brain, can lead to difficulties in nerve signaling. This disruption can affect the ability to achieve an erection by impeding the brain's communication with the reproductive system. Similarly, a stroke, which occurs when blood supply to a part of the brain is interrupted or reduced, can result in various physical complications, including erectile dysfunction. The damage caused to the brain during a stroke can interrupt the normal signaling pathway that leads to an erection. Next, consider multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune disease that affects the central nervous system. This condition damages the protective covering of nerve fibers in the brain and spinal cord, causing communication problems between the brain and the rest of the body. As a result, men with multiple sclerosis may also experience challenges in achieving an erection. These neurological conditions exemplify how vital brain health is in maintaining sexual function. But remember, it's not all doom and gloom. Advances in medical science offer an array of treatments to manage these conditions, which can in turn, help alleviate erectile dysfunction. Early diagnosis and treatment of these neurological conditions can help prevent ED. So, if you or a loved one are experiencing symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. After all, a healthy brain leads to a healthier, happier life. Surprisingly, certain medications can also lead to ED. Medications are designed to help us but sometimes they can have unintended effects. For instance, blood pressure medications like beta blockers are known to potentially cause erectile dysfunction. This happens because these drugs can decrease the force of blood flow to the penis, making it difficult to achieve an erection. Antidepressants are another category of medication that can contribute to ED. Specifically, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, can often lead to sexual dysfunction. Studies have shown that these medications can interfere with the neurotransmitters in the brain that are involved in the sexual response cycle. Other drugs that can cause ED include tranquilizers, muscle relaxants, and even some medications for treating cancer. It's a broad spectrum, and it's important to remember that not everyone will experience these side effects. This is why it's crucial to have open discussions with healthcare professionals about any medications you're taking. 
they can provide guidance and possibly adjust your treatment plan to mitigate these side effects. Always consult with your doctor about the potential side effects of your medications. Your heart health directly influences your ability to achieve and maintain an erection. This statement is not just a random thought, but a fact backed by science. You see, the heart pumps blood throughout the body, supplying oxygen and nutrients to various tissues and organs. Now, when it comes to achieving an erection, this process is heavily dependent on your circulatory system. The penis requires a sufficient amount of blood flow to become erect. However, conditions like high blood pressure and high cholesterol can wreak havoc on this process. They can damage the blood vessels, narrowing them and reducing blood flow. In fact, a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that there's a significant correlation between erectile dysfunction and heart disease. The researchers pointed out that the arteries in the penis are smaller than those in the heart, so they might show signs of a problem sooner, like difficulty achieving an erection. It's not just about the physical effect either. These heart-related conditions often lead to anxiety and stress, further compounding the problem. The worry about not being able to perform sexually can feed into a cycle of anxiety and erectile dysfunction. However, the good news is, these issues are manageable. Regular exercise, balanced diet, and maintaining a healthy weight can all contribute to good heart health. Moreover, medications and lifestyle modifications can help manage high blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Remember, your heart is not just a symbol of love but also a crucial component in your sexual health. A healthy heart often equates to a healthy sexual life. Emotional health is just as important as physical health when it comes to sexual performance. Now let's delve into the realm of emotional disorders, such as depression, stress, and anxiety, and their role in erectile dysfunction. Depression is a significant player in this scenario. It's not just about feeling down or sad, it's a serious condition that impacts every aspect of our lives, including our sexual health. When depression strikes, it often saps the desire for any activity, including sex. Moreover, certain antidepressant medications might also contribute to erectile dysfunction, creating a cycle that can be challenging to break out of. Stress and anxiety, on the other hand, are like silent saboteurs of sexual health. Picture this. You're mentally preoccupied with work, family issues, or financial concerns. This mental unrest can divert the brain's resources away from responding to sexual stimuli, leading to difficulties in achieving or maintaining an erection. At this point you might be wondering about the connection between the mind and body in this context. It's quite simple really. The brain plays a pivotal role in triggering the physical reactions that result in an erection. It starts with feelings of sexual excitement, but if emotional disorders interfere, the process can't progress as it should. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding this mind-body connection is the first step towards finding a solution. Engaging in regular exercise, practicing mindfulness, and seeking professional help when needed are all proactive ways to maintain good mental health. Remember, a healthy mind promotes a healthy body. So, when it comes to emotional disorders and erectile dysfunction, the key lies in not just treating the symptoms, but also addressing the underlying emotional issues. By doing so, you're not just improving your sexual health but your overall well-being. Maintaining good mental health can help prevent ED. Substance use, especially long-term or heavy use, can also cause ED. It's a topic that many people don't often connect to erectile dysfunction, but the science shows a clear link. Let's delve into this a bit more. Alcohol, for instance, may seem like a social lubricant, but it can be a physiological roadblock. Chronic heavy drinking can lead to liver damage, nerve damage, and conditions that interfere with the normal balance of male sex hormone levels, all of which can lead to ED. Tobacco use isn't any better. It restricts blood flow throughout the body, including to the penis. This is because nicotine, a key ingredient in cigarettes, causes blood vessels to contract, limiting the amount of blood that can flow, making it difficult to achieve an erection. Illicit drugs, including marijuana, cocaine, and methamphetamines, can also play a role in ED. These substances can disrupt the nervous system and interfere with the signals needed for an erection. A study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found a significant association between ED and the use of illicit drugs. So, what's the takeaway here? Well, it's pretty simple. Avoiding or limiting substance use can significantly reduce the risk of ED. It's one of the many steps you can take towards maintaining your sexual health and overall well-being. Remember, your health is in your hands. ED is a common issue that affects many, but it's not insurmountable. We've journeyed through the labyrinth of causes, 
from endocrine diseases and neurological conditions to the effects of medication, heart-related issues, emotional disorders, and substance use. Each of these factors can play a role in the complex puzzle that is erectile dysfunction, but remember, knowledge is power. By understanding these causes, you can begin to take steps towards prevention and treatment. It all starts with maintaining a healthy lifestyle which includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and stress management. Don't neglect to manage any underlying health conditions as they can often be the silent culprits behind ED. And if you're experiencing symptoms, don't hesitate to seek help. Your health professionals are there to support you, and together, you can formulate a plan that works best for you. The journey to overcoming ED starts with a single step, and you've already taken it by educating yourself today. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you're struggling to quit porn addiction, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.